it's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another day, day 25 to be exact, of my spring blitz. So I am going to make some rosettes today. I have paper that is 12 by one and a half, I think. Yeah, 12 by one and a half um, from the Cray Paper Oasis collection. Don't know if I said that yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just scoring it at every half inch with my Martha Stewart scoreboard. Is that what it's called? Scoreboard? <laughs> um, and then, there you go. And then I'm just gonna fold them all like a fan or whatever. As you can see, I did a couple there already. Just back and forth like a fan you did when you were a kid. Pretty easy and straightforward, at least this part is. Um, let me know. I'd love some feedback on how you've liked my spring blitz, if it has been fun or what kind of videos you like to see the most um, because I'm going to start some new, um, I don't know, like every Wednesday I'll post these specific videos, every Saturday these ones, that kind of thing. Um, so let me know what kind of videos you're looking for. I've gotten a lot of people say they want like uh, DIY videos like this one, like where you make... Um, rosettes or tags or stuff like that. So I'm happy to do stuff like that. Let me just, just let me know what kind of videos you guys are looking for and would want to see. And I'll definitely absolutely take that into consideration and try and plan out what every week will look like on my channel. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm punching out circles from just some older paper and um, I'm going to adhere them to the uh, rosette. So basically I fold the rosette like that. Sorry, my glue gun was like on the other side and it couldn't reach that far. So I tried to do it in focus, like in um, like the camera as much as I could, but didn't always happen. And then I'd always, then I take um, uh, one of those circled punches and attempt to put glue in the middle and put the circle on top just to hold it all together if that makes sense. Sometimes they kind of crumple, but <laughs> like that one, I haven't noticed it yet. And yep, that'll happen and it'll really bug you, but <laughs> um, yeah, I got someone that said like every time they do them, they never turn out. And honestly, it takes a lot of work and a lot of like trial and error to figure it out. Maybe to some people it comes naturally, but for me, it just took so much trial and error. So you just kind of got to figure out your groove. So these ones I made a little simpler than I usually do with my rosettes. Usually I really put a lot of stuff on it, but um, recently I got some rosettes from some friends and they were just so simple and they were just so, I don't know. Yeah, they were just simple. And so I wanted to do that with mine too. Just not worry about making it extra special, not special, but extra, I don't know, crazy and just do simple and so that if I give it to a pen pal that they can um, use it for something or um, add to it if they need to because it's kind of hard to take off, but you can add to it. So if they want to, they can do that. I just put that little cactus um, on the one that says summer, summer, summer because... It looked a little bit too plain, too boring, too simple. So I just added that. I love the puffy stickers in this collection. They're just so cute and so fun. And I'm never usually like a puffy sticker person, like the little puffy stickers, but these are just so nice. I really like them. And so I'm just looking through the ephemera and I found that Hello Sunshine paper, which I thought was perfect because um, the paper that I'm using is yellow and kind of looks like a sun so I thought that was cute and I kind of just trimmed the side so that it would fit better it wouldn't be too big um and yeah most of these actually get puffy stickers on them which I think was the perfect touch all right um Yeah, okay, just putting it together now and finding the perfect pieces for each one. These are my flare buttons from Becky. 
If you've watched my other videos, you know I use a lot of her stuff. There we go. Oh, nope, didn't go with that. Nope, didn't like that either. Oh, yeah, that's right, I put that. So to go with the circle theme. And then my last one, just kind of layered a few stickers and chipboard. That looks really good. And I think that finishes it off. So now these are just some close-ups of them all. And they're not perfect. You know, I do what I can. And they're, they're handmade items. They're, you know what I mean? So it's not like they're always going to be perfect. But I really like the way they turned out. And I think they're super cute. So let me know. Oh, there's hot glue. Don't you hate when that happens? The strings from the hot glue just, like, overwhelm everything and... Are st there's strings everywhere and it's super annoying. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. Let me know what you think of this video and what else you want to see. Talk to you soon. Bye.